Okay, we're starting at the north end of the house. I'm sorry, the south end of the house. And this is the side door. The street's out here. This is the side door going into the garage. And the garage is almost all cleaned up now. It's pretty much of a big workshop. A lot of cabinets, drawers, places to store things, work surfaces. And you can immediately see that this property has a great view. This is the view out the garage, which is where I'll be spending a lot of time in here. Uh, it has an old sink that's actually functional and a lot of little old doodads that are still sort of left, looks like they're going to be left behind. A bunch of old scrap firewood that I'll take care of and burn if she doesn't want. And, you know, pretty large functional space can also be used as a garage. Heading north is uh, the stairway down to the main living area, but on this level is the first bathroom, um, and it's got a little tiny sink and a shower, as well as a stand-up urinal, which is kind of unusual, a little bizarre, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, if anything. And also on this floor is the kitchen, or a kitchen, the first kitchen. Now this does look like an illegal, legally installed kitchen. I think it was purposefully designed to subdivide the space, the top floor, into two distinctly different living areas. Um, it's got some really old appliances. I mean, it's all functional, but uh, it's just a little weird. Again, with a bunch of strange cabinets and shelves and uh, various nooks and crannies. The floor is actually really pretty nice. It's a hardwood floor that looks like with a little bit of cleaning, it'll be beautiful. It's a light hardwood. And... Um, uh, electric stove <clears throat> and the oven which is over here so the oven and the stove are in two different places and you know just old stuff probably ultimately switch up to something newer and then the other thing up here is a washer dryer so that's actually really kind of cool uh, but it's in the part of the house that I would be renting so it's uh, good for the tenant. Uh, now moving down to the main level. Parquet floor. Uh, <clears throat> you know, more of the same kind of weird cabinets, spaces, uh, dated interior. Big fireplace. This actually... This floor, this room, was originally the garage and they converted it to a room. And the garage you see is actually an addition that's been approved with the city, so that part's good. Um, more funky cabinetry, a balcony, which is super cool, except that it's made of wrought iron rails and iron steel plating, uh, diamond tuck plating that's rusting. Um, but again, a just spectacular view of the entire Bay Area from Marin to South San Francisco, San Jose. And uh, out the windows, you can see this funky shed-like structure. That's an addition and an old deck. And then this funky little cool wine barrel house, playhouse. 
it's got a swing inside, but it's really falling apart. So I can't see any way to keep that. But, um, you know, funky old wood paneling and dated fixtures. Probably take all that stuff out right away and make it sort of more modern livable. This is a pass through. Now, now we're looking at the main kitchen and this is the, where the space gets divided. Um, they had sort of a partition here and they're given the illusion that it's one whole big space, but really there's a sliding door that closes this off and a partition that goes into this opening that uh, makes it two distinctly different living areas. Uh, there's a really weird, funky closet here with all kinds of shelves and drawers and I don't know what's rigged up in here. Weird electrical things and that kind of reminds me of some old pantry that's just not really functioning anymore. This is the main living area, uh, living room. Again, some really old fixtures. Uh, curved ceiling, big, big room, and a fireplace, and then of course the kitchen, which is in here, and it's sort of been partitioned off from the main room by this wall that um, is also strange. It's not, it's, it's, not attractive. It's functional, but it's just not attractive. And one idea is just to open this up a little more and create more kitchen space and openness since kitchen areas have now become part of the living areas and it's not, I mean, it's really, what? Yeah, it's good for entertaining and you know, somebody cooking doesn't have to be isolated from the people in the rest of the room. So again, a big, big room here, huge arched ceiling, wood paneling all along the walls, which, and a fireplace, uh, which kind of darkens the room a little bit along with this sort of darker parquet floor, which could be sanded and stained with lighter stain or could be covered over with some really nice lighter hardwood just to make it um, more attractive and more contemporary. I'm just not a huge fan of parquet. Yeah, it's not sustainable. Um, so that brings us to this outdoor deck. There's a huge enclosed glass deck here and um, it's open on this side. This is open to the backyard. Most of this is enclosed with glass, which makes it kind of a little warmer to the elements. Um, but it was done in a really sort of non-traditional, non-code way, which makes it um, which makes it just a little strange. The other part of it is. This is all addition. These big beams that come out here were actually sistered onto the existing ones. And there's just a heck of a lot of weight out here that's not really designed to be held by those things. And uh, it also looks like someone did some modifications with electrical trying to get that through. And I don't know, they just did some funky, funky things. Um, Definitely. But having said that, it's still kind of a cool area to hang out in. <laughs> it's just enclosed glass deck. And I could see myself sitting out here sipping some tea in the morning and not getting the blast of cold air. Uh, you get a side view of this addition now. And this addition was really uh, afterthought, completely un unpermitted. Uh, separate, somewhat separate living area that they tried to establish for maybe renting out a small space. I really believe that entire thing is going to have to be torn off and some of this um, siding that used to be here 
restored. I mean, it's old. It's a stamped metal is what it is, so it's probably going to be always looking like a patch job unless it's completely all unless the siding completely taken off and re, re, and replaced with something different um back into the house and heading to the main hallway so this hallway goes to the other rooms this is actually the front door i think the main front door to the house the original front door it looks like it's not really used so much um i don't know what this is a drop foam tile ceiling um and we get to the first quote unquote bedroom and again it's all this dark interior wooden paneling which i find personally awful um uh and then with this room is relatively small it's probably 10 by 15 feet uh, there is a bathroom that adjoins this room and this bathroom is fairly functional and you know dated but um looks like the shower was recently updated to something more modern it's all new tile and it actually looks pretty good the shower in the tub uh so something we can work with but this leads out to this odd sunroom, which I personally really like, just because every time I walk in here, no matter how cold it is outside, it's really warm out here. And uh, it's again got just outstanding view. Uh, and potential for, yeah, there being sort of a greenhouse. Um, I can't really say what I think of it in general. It's, 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 it's also addition. It's not original. It looks like they've got a faucet out here for some plumbing. Um, back into the main house. Uh, this is back into the hallway now. And now we're getting towards the main bedroom. There's the bathroom again from another angle, another door. This is the master bedroom. And I believe this is actually all original, except for the portion of this that hangs out further over than the rest of the footprint of the house. In other words, you can already feel some sagging going on here because it's, here's the main house right here and now we're just beyond it. So I believe this zone here is where the original house was and I'm standing in an addition and uh, the deck down there is just totally shot needs to be removed and replaced um, but this master bedroom is actually really kind of a nice place to be it's got um, a great little balcony again that needs to be shored up and really um, made secure fantastic views like superb views and um, you know pretty high ceilings comfortable space um, Weird design, a little bit, a little bit weird, um, but certainly something I could live in while, you know, the rest of the remodel's going on. And um, just some funky things, like what is this? A little cupboard cabinet. Probably going to put a door over this whole thing, have it be a little bit of a closet for us to keep some clothes in there. And then the main bathroom, which is, you know, it's a pretty good sized bathroom actually. It's um, got some covered closet space. In fact, most of the closet space is in this bathroom. And um, 
Got an old dated shower, old dated toilet, completely dated sink. I mean, I think this would all have to get torn out and redone. Uh, but the good news is you got two bathrooms, so you can use the second bathroom. And that concludes the top floor.